Let all the other names fade away Till there's only you Let all the other names fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Right here Let all the other names fade away Welcome, welcome back to another piano lesson with Warren. This is the channel where we talk about how to play gospel piano by ear. Everything we do is by ear, teach you theory, ear training, song breakdowns, all of that good stuff. And today is going to be no different. We're going to be taking a look at a passing chord, 6251 passing chord, and I'm going to show you a, a song that you can use that with. So stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. Now, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet and you've been following us for a while, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when we post new content. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing so far, then you definitely want to stick around. So you also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified. Now, today I'm going to show you a 6251 turnaround slash passing chord. It's, it, it's a dual function the way I'm using this chord. And I'm going to show you the song that I do it in. It's a sort of more CCM type song. So this is a perfect example of how you can sort of blend gospel passing chord with CCM songs without taking it too much out of the realm of the CCM style song. So let's jump into it. The key that I'm working with today is the key of E flat major. And if you don't know, we know that E flat's the one, F minor is the two, G minor is the three, A flat major is the four, B flat major is the five, C minor is the six, and D diminish is the seven. Those are the diatonic chords of E flat. So if you're hearing me throwing numbers around, I'm referring to these chords. All right. So the progression, let's play the progression first, and then we'll go back and talk about the context, how you can use it in a song. So what I'm doing is, so it's a turnaround passing to take you to four. So if you're going to a four, this is a cool way you can do it. And I'm doing six. My sixth chord is a dominant 13th, right? C 13th. Six, two. Now I'm playing my two chord, which is my F minor, as an F minor 11. Now my five, I'm doing a minor 13th. So we got B flat minor 13th, right? And then my one, I'm playing as a major 7 flat 13th. E flat major 7 flat 13th. So we got the 6, 2, 5, 1, and then I drop it to 4. And this is just a major 9, 4 chord, right? So that's cool right there. Yeah? Now I also approach this six with a, what I call a chordal slide. In this right hand, we have a chordal harmony. So four notes that are separated by a third. We call it chordal stock harmony. And I'm sliding this from here down to here. So if we take that E flat, the one, the four, the flat seven of the key, and we're just gonna slide that down and that helps to form the remaining notes for that C 13, right? So, so now that you've seen the chords, you've seen the movement, now how do we use this in an actual context of a song? Now I'm gonna take a look at the song by Isabel Davis. Um, it has a few titles, some place you might see it referred to as Wide Eyes. Um, other places you'll see it listed as Jesus Take Your Place. Um, that's the one I'm looking at here on YouTube, Jesus Take Your Place by Isabel Davis. Most of you are probably familiar with this song. It's a pretty, pretty cool tune. And it sounds like this. So it starts on the four. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We 
lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. Lord, we lift your name high. So that's the song, right? And that's sort of like the verse. It just starts on the four to the one, six, four. So that's the verse. And then the chorus, for those of you familiar with it, sort of the chorus you saw part of the song. Starts on the four. Let all the other names fade. Let all the other names fade away Till there's only you Let all the other names fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Right here Let all the other names fade Let all the other names fade away Till there's only you Let all the other names fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take one more time And again so you see how that's where I use the progression it fits nicely with this song because the song starts on the four right and we're going back to the four and this is where I said it functions like a turnaround so it's a turnaround that it's also a passing chord, right? Because we're, we're tapping into the non-diatonic chord. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take one, two, three, four. We're back where we started. All the other names fade away. And that's a nice little movement right there. Those are all diatonic chords. And if you're wondering, what are those? What I'm doing? Five and first inversion. One. Back to five and first inversion. My one chord in first inversion. So one chord on nine to the four. So. Again. Then Jesus take your place. Jesus take your place. And that's all I have for you guys today. That's it. Cool little six four six uh, a six two five one passing chord that you can use to take you to four. And I show you how you can do this with this song. And the particular voicing that I'm using is based on what sort of fits with this song. So it's important when you take this um, um, idea and decide you're gonna run with it, be sure that you're taking into consideration the context of how the chords were used. Right, also take into consideration the context of the song you're playing, because you may need to tweak the chord voicing, you can keep the concept, but you may need to tweak the chord voicing for whatever particular song you're gonna to wanna to use this idea on. 
All right, so short tutorial I got for you guys today. If you find this content exciting, educational, stuff that you've been looking for, at this point, I have dozens of video featuring this same stuff, passing chords in various formats that takes you all over the place to anywhere you wanna go. We call them like slingshot chords, right? You could use them to jump between keys. And this is just one concept of a passing chord. A whole lot more you can get over here at Piano Lesson with Warren. So again, remember to stay subscribed. And lastly, before I go, if you're looking for a more structured, hand-holding process of learning the piano, because we all know YouTube is great, but it's great for just picking up quick tips and stuff like this. But if you need more in-depth structure, step-by-step, -step, what do I do now, then tomorrow, then the next day, you know, what we call a pass. Piano Lesson with Warren.com is where I offer a membership program for gospel pianists. At this point, we got hundreds of students over there going through the Practice Path program that is designed to teach you every single thing you need to know about learning the piano by ear. Because there's a lot of aspect to learning the piano by ear. Chords, theory, ear training, learning songs, and then the method of doing those things effectively so that you don't waste time, but also you can see your progress day after day. I would highly recommend you jump over to Piano Lesson with Warren and check it out, see if it's for you. At the moment, we're running a $1 trial, a special trial for anyone who wants to just sort of dip their foot in to test the program to see if it's right for them. For seven days, you get unfettered access to everything we offer for only a dollar. If it's not for you, at the end of that, you just cancel and we're all good. No problems there, right? But I want you to be able to at least test it to see if it's for you. So that's why we keep the bar so low, partly because I am super confident that once you get in, you're going to see that it really has everything that you need. If you're interested in learning gospel piano and doing so by ear, you will not find a better place than Piano Lesson with Warren. All right. So until then, keep listening, keep singing, keep practicing, and I'll catch you next week for another tutorial. Bye for now.